What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, you know I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, y'all. Now, y'all told me, y'all say, Dawson, where do you find these stories? Look, I don't find the stories. The stories find me. So sit back and just be entertained. Look here. Alicia Beverly had just spent a great time in Las Vegas with her sister and couldn't wait to get home Monday night. They were on the red eye flight and pretty much everyone was asleep, including Alicia. That was until... <laughs> A well-known pastor from North Carolina is accused of relieving himself on the sleeping woman in the backseat of the Delta plane as she returned to Detroit from Las Vegas. According to Alicia, she felt something warm that was on her side, and when she turned around, she saw the pastor exposed, and she started to scream. Now, I know you all don't believe anything I say, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the news people tell you this, and I'm going to let Alicia tell you this herself, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary, and you all know me, I'm your guy Dawson, and I won't hold back. I mean, I ain't going to pee on you like the pastor, but I ain't going to hold back with what I have to say. Watch this. It was the red-eye flight from Las Vegas. Pretty much everyone on board was sleeping. One woman in the back was woken up in the most disturbing way. I've never been more ready to come back home until the year. Detroiter Alicia Beverly could not wait to get back, ironically, from Sin City. It was just a girl's trip. I was with my sister. So. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. <laughs> have fun. Monday night, curled up in a back seat next to her sister on board a Delta flight. Alicia was asleep until... It started to get warm on this side of me. In that sleepy haze, right at eye level, something unexpected. I jump up and I seen his private area out, so I screamed and that woke everybody on the plane up. By the time I actually looked at him and I see him shaking himself off, I'm like, this man just peed on me. Her scream getting the attention of an off-duty officer on board. In the midst of me doing all that, I looked, it was like a puddle of pee in the seat. Alicia says the officer rushed over restraining the man who turned out to be a well-known pastor from North Carolina. Sources tell us the pastor had an apparent bad reaction to a sleep aid. He didn't say anything the time the whole time he was standing there. Just like you were a bathroom. Yeah. Alicia sat in those wet clothes for hours before landing in Detroit Metro, where the pastor was taken into custody. He hasn't been charged yet. The FBI handles incidents in the air. They'll make a decision on charges. Meanwhile, Alicia is filled with anxiety. I left work yesterday because I couldn't stay, but I had to tell them why I needed to leave. Because it was a lot like my anxiety was really bad I, I literally since then i probably only got maybe like four hours of sleep she's grateful though for the officer who took charge i'm literally very thankful that he was on there and something was able to be done right away and it wouldn't have been like my word just my word against his it was somebody on there to actually see we spoke with the pastor's camp by phone they're choosing not to comment right now as for delta they referred us to local police reporting in romulus jessica dupnack fox 2 news all right y'all let's go in now did y'all hear the newscaster there she's gonna tell alicia oh yeah he just peed on you like you were a bathroom and she's like yeah yeah look the news people be trying to get that little that slick dig in there they be trying to be all salacious with things and be funny but we catch all of that man but look here i know before i even get into my commentary there are gonna be some people just oh just pray for her and the pastor it was probably just a mistake just pray okay pray we'll pray but what you want me to pray for i mean open up the floodgates of heaven and let it rain i mean uh melodies from heaven rain down on me i mean i don't know send down the rain send down the ladder rain look the pastor probably was on that stuff, thought he was walking the streets of gold, and he was not walking the streets of gold. He was actually given a golden shower. <laughs> Let me move on. It's too early in the morning for this. But I just don't understand, like, how you don't know that you're standing up and you're urinating. Because I know people who've been on Ambien, and I have never... <laughs> I have never heard of anything like this ever. And what's also making me upset with this is because they are not revealing who this well-known pastor in North Carolina is. I'm like, come on. And you all heard in the news clip, they said because it happened up 
in the air that the FBI is doing the investigation and everything and you know they'll decide if they're going to press charges or whatnot but clearly this young lady has anxiety about the situation and it is and I mean, she went to the news people. I mean, it's all, it's an embarrassing situation. But I mean, I want to know why are they hiding the pastor? I mean, they're not putting his name down in anything. Maybe they will in the upcoming weeks and I may do a follow up on this story. But that's just like kind of fishy to me. And also what made me upset is that when they called the church, the church basically had no comment. And the only thing they said or, uh, uh, you know, somebody did say that it was the medication. They said it was the medication. But I, I have clients who are on, on, who are on Ambien and um, I've never heard of that before. So I don't know if this is just uh, a cover up for the pastor or whatnot. But clearly Alicia is hurt over this and she has anxiety and it's affecting her because she can't get any sleep. She said she hasn't gotten a, she only got four hours of sleep and she had to leave work. So I hope that she gets the help that she needs in uh, this situation. And also, I want to know who this pastor is. If you all know who this well-known pastor in North Carolina is who did this on the Delta flight, please let me know. I want to know because I don't think he should. I don't hide him. Please let us know who this man is. Now, you all go off in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, these stories are just getting this. I mean, 2020, man. These stories are just crazy. I mean, these people, any any and everything is going on. And it is just, I don't know, man, as long as it's happening and you all have social media, we will be here to report it. And you all know me. I'm your guy Dawson and I'm not going to hold back. So I hope the young lady, Alicia Beverly, I hope everything works out well for you. And you all go off in the comments. Let me know what you think about this story. Until next time, it's your boy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Look, I can't let this story go. Can you just imagine being on the plane and some somebody just peeing on you and then to top it all off to add insult to injury to find out that the person who relieved themselves on you is a pastor. The pastor not preaching, he pissing. I mean, just to, y'all, come on. I'm just thinking about this, like, because, I, I mean, many of us, have we catch planes and stuff like that, and I, I've caught the red eye before, and, you know, as a matter of fact, I like catching the red eye, I like coming back, you know, real late, whenever I vacation, but just imagine, man, oh my gosh, uh, I really hope that, you know, I know she, man, could you just imagine, man, just, ugh, I, I don't want to imagine because I probably would have been fighting. We would have been up in the air fighting. I don't want to hear about no so-called ambient or whatever the person was on. Because now people are doing so many weird stuff these days, you know, in public settings and things like that. Indecent exposure and lewd and lascivious stuff. I don't put nothing past nobody. So I wouldn't have. And then the police had to come over and, you know, subdue the pastor you know, uh, restrain the pastor. So it's like, there's something going on that they're not saying a lot. And I hope once the FBI release more information, we'll get a clear understanding because I don't know, man, this, this story just doesn't sit well with me. I know some people may say, Oh, well, you know, I take Ambien, I take this at night, but come on now. Uh, 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 and the fact that they're hiding the pastor, that still it doesn't sit well with me. But y'all go off in the comment section. I just wanted to say some more stuff on this. But I don't, if that would have happened to anybody else, they probably would have been fighting up in the air. But you know what? I want to know what my subscribers, what would you all have done if that had happened to you? If you were on a flight with your family? <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait for the comments. <laughs> Hey, y'all just go off in the comments. Tell me your thoughts on this. Tell me what you would have done if it happened to you. I can't wait to read the comments. Y'all go off. Peace.